Hi mom. After doing that last video where I reviewed five different weather widgets, I decided that these two are my favorites. The weather underground widget and the radar in motion widget. But I like to know the weather around the world more places than just where I live, so let me show you a few tricks on how you can easily do that. First, for my neighborhood, in addition to having the current conditions, I like to see the forecast too, so I'm going to set that up that way. But now you may not realize that you can actually install more than one copy of a particular widget. So here I'll go down and add another weather underground widget. It starts off saying San Francisco, but I'll click the I here and change it to somewhere else. I camped in Morro Bay this weekend and I really liked it, so I'm going to keep track of the weather there. Once again, you'll see the Weather Underground app, I mean widget, not only lets you pick a city, but within that city, you often have numerous weather stations to choose from. So I'm going to choose this one that's kind of on the south end of Morro Bay. Actually, the south side of the bay. And I don't need to know the, the details. I just want to get the current conditions um, there. So I'm going to hit the minus sign. So it'll just show me the current temperature and the forecast high and low for the day and cute little graphics to tell me roughly what the weather is. And just for kicks, why don't I add a third one? And this one will be for Hawaii in case I want to go do some scuba diving. And again, I just want the current conditions. So there you see I've got three Weather Underground widgets. Each one can be set to a different location and have different uh, display configurations. You know, this one I've got all expanded with the forecast. These I just have with the current conditions. Now, the Radar in Motion widget actually has a cool feature where you can say, see more than one map within this one widget. So if you click on the eye up here, I can add Morro Bay, California and say add to favorites. And now after clicking, oh, I need to wait for it to say map added and then clicked done. And now you'll see, here's the national Doppler radar map. And I can either wait for it to rotate like that. Okay, here's the Doppler radar 600 mile map. And it's roughly centered around Morro Bay. And you'll see that it cycles between the two. You can go into the eye here and change various settings, like how long each map will display and things like that. Now there's another map that I want here. I'd like to have a um, the US forecast map. So I'll add that to my favorites too. And you'll see I can just click on this number here to get to number three. But now look how it jumps back and forth between the various forecast days, you know, Friday, th Friday Thursday, Saturday, etc. Let me get back to that. So that's really frustrating for me. So I'm going to click this minus sign to remove it. And once again, I'll show you a little trick here. I'm going to add a second radar in motion. And this one I will set to the forecast. And in addition, under the display tab here, I'll change the animation speed from 
250 milliseconds, so that's a quarter of a second, and I'll make it two and a half seconds. Just drag that down. So now I have a US forecast map with enough of a pause in between maps that I can at least get a handle on what the forecast is like. But up here, I've got a forecast map with a much faster animation speed, which makes sense when watching you know, the clouds and, and storms move around. So once again, I've had two, I have two copies of the widget with very different settings. And just for kicks, in case a national map is not big enough for you, JPL has an Asteroid Watch widget. So this is a widget that shows the um, next five Earth approaches from asteroids that are going to get relatively close to the Earth and roughly what size they are. So uh, hopefully none of them will hit us. They haven't in a while. But hey, you never know. It's good to know what's coming up. Maybe we've got five in the next week. So I hope that helps. Uh, of course, configure these however you like. And um, I hope the weather's good for you.